Hi CBD freaks, I'm finally back and I'm doing a review on Shangri-La, I think is how it's pronounced. Fingers crossed. Um, it's actually going to be a vape pen, so yeah, let's just get into it. I actually met the two guys on the train after work. I kind of just like ran into them um, and they were talking about CBD and going to the convention, a convention in New York. Um, and I mentioned that I was a CBD reviewer and they gave me some samples that they were bringing to the event. Uh, they gave me this pod, this jewel pod. I haven't used it yet because I don't have a jewel pen, um, but maybe once I get one or if I get one, I'll, I'll use it or I'll, I'll use my partners and try it out. This is what, the, what I did try though, because I do have a pen that fits the cartridge. And it was amazing. Me and my friend smoked it. And, well, we had smoked THC beforehand. So we smoked it and it mellowed out our high tremendously. Like, my friend described it as like, less in control of himself. And then when he smoked the CBD, everything just like mellowed out. And it became like a really relaxing high for him. I set my settings on the pen to, 3.7 volts um, and you can adjust it with the up and down arrow right there and then I usually take up to like usually like a, up to a five um, hit it chilled me the hell out it like made my anxiety disappear so yeah I definitely recommend this pen if you have high anxiety or in general you just want to like chill the hell out it's really nice I'm just gonna read you off some notes that I took uh, from my experience with it. It made my headache go away almost entirely. That's amazing in itself because I don't like taking Advil and ibuprofen very much. I try to stay away from pills if I can. So if you guys are looking for a headache cure, I would recommend trying this pen out. I also smoked weed. So I had some THC and you know, I smoked the CBD right after and it diminished any slight paranoia that I had. Um, sometimes when I get stoned, I don't want to talk to people outside and I'm very to myself. But after smoking the CBD, uh, I got rid of any feeling of that and I was just like chilled out. So that was great. If you guys like get really stoned on THC and you're just like in that like paranoid state or just like don't want to talk to anyone, smoke the CBD and it'll chill you the fuck out. I didn't have a hangover after a night of drinking. I went out with my friends. I smoked this the night before and in the morning, so maybe it helped. It's the smoothest CBD that I've smoked and it's really clear in color. Tastes amazing and it's not harsh at all. So if you guys can't deal with um, burns in your throat from smoking, I would recommend the CBD because it was super smooth. I'll leave you guys the links down below if you guys are interested in trying a vape. It was fucking great. <laughs> I'm not sure if they have the tincture or the cartridge that I used on their website yet, but they definitely have the jewel pods on their website and they look like this. I got the peach mango one and I'm excited to try it once I get a jewel pod or a jewel. You actually could probably email them about the cartridges. Maybe they just haven't posted it online yet or search around for it, maybe I just didn't see it, but I'll put their main website link below and their Facebook page. This is their logo, just to get an idea of what it looks like. Don't judge my nails. A homeless guy painted them last night on the train. And that's not a joke. And if you guys do need a, a pen, it's called E-Leaf. It's great, it was like $15 on eBay and it lasts a long time once you charge it. It lasts me like, like I, the last time I charged this was like, like a month and a half ago probably. And as long as you're like aware to turn it off when you're not using it, then your battery stays literally forever. So I, I'll put the link to this pen in the description too. And you guys can check out Shang-Hee Lawn, you guys can get a pen. Later.